What's up? All right. Y'all wanna know what we're doing today? We are doing some scent work. What? We're gonna be doing, we have steel, and he's going to work for um, Apex K9 Security. And still is, um, he's trained in um, narcotics. He was a police canine. And uh, I don't know the circumstances how he is no longer there, but he's with me. I've, I've had still for about two years. But today we're gonna be getting him refreshed so that he can start back training. So he'll be ready when they need him. He's one of uh, six dogs that are going to them that I'll be tra training. Uh, getting ready. Right now what I'm doing is I'm getting skills older ready marinate with this car. So y'all can run. Alright, so what I was doing was I was putting this odor, which is meth with this Kong so that I can pair the odor out the, with the Kong and I don't have to use the odor when I hide it. I can use the Kong for him to find. I might use the odor too, it depends. But I still like to pair it so he he knows what he's looking for. He's a beast. Y'all gonna have fun and enjoy this. So still the beast when it comes to narcotic work. But I'm actually gonna be switching him to doing uh, bomb work. But I'm gonna start with his uh, what he already knows, which makes things easier. And uh, we're gonna start training today. We'll do it in the front yard. Um, I know a lot of people uh, ask a lot about police canines and things like that. Well, still was a police canine, so you'll get to see one. Um, well, as far as I can say about stills, like so obedience-wise. When you do obedience and it's just you and him and that's all you're doing, he is amazing. Outside of that, when he's training and he's doing narcotic work or bite work, he's amazing. But then when he's doing nothing, he's an absolute demon, right? He's always into something. We can't put him in any kennels. He'll chip wood. We have to put him in metal. He breaks those. Uh, he's His drive is, is crazier than the All right, so there's one thing you're going to need. When you start training dogs in detection, I don't care who you are, they all do the same thing, same format. Still doesn't eat food to do this work. He's done it a hundred times. He's just a beast when he does it. You're gonna need a couple. So this kit right here, this one's about $1,200 with all the odors in there. You're gonna need tugs, balls, rewards, odors. You need all that stuff. You're gonna need a long line so that he can run. And then you're gonna need to set up your stuff. Now, if you see out here, this is where I'm gonna have Brian hiding the odors and still is gonna be free balling all over this yard. Downwind, I can even, you can hear the wind. You can hear the wind. So he's gonna have fun out here. And last but not least, you're gonna need water. Dogs exert a lot of energy when they're using their nose, trying to find the odor, okay? And I hope Still's a good boy today because Sometimes getting the reward back from him is a challenge. And the reason why it's a challenge is because in law enforcement, you want the dog to resource guard so they really want to find the item and keep it, right? In pet dog world, you don't. That's how, you know, bad behaviors develop. But in police work, that's all he's gonna do. So it doesn't matter because he's not gonna be doing certain things that pet dogs do. So you got you gotta need those gloves, man. Gonna need those gloves because he's gonna pull. You guys are gonna see, he's a beautiful dog. And you guys are gonna see, and I'll start doing a little BDS with him later, show you. But it still is a bona fide police canine. He's one of few of many. He's one of few of many dogs that you're gonna see here in a short period of time over the next couple weeks. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching him work, man. This dog is legit. And at the end, I have to let him get bite. I don't let him get a bite, that's his reward. He has to get a bite. I love Still, you're gonna love him too. You guys are gonna enjoy watching this dog work. So y'all stay tuned. Oh. 
No, it, she, it, it, oh, yeah. it should be implied if she hears that too. Yeah. Yeah, she see she, she see like it's a it's a it's a threat. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna take her all the way back again. I'm gonna walk with you. All right, y'all, before I forget, before we move on, this is Sage. She is uh, one of the protection dogs that we trained, and she is amazing, right? She is awesome. Well, Sage just had 14 puppies, and I think half are already gone, right? Sage comes off of KV KMVP lines. Her, um, her grand... Uh, Sire, grandpa, grand, her grandfather is Guido, and Guido is a grand champion off of the KV Peach uh, um, competition. He is titled, okay? So, when you start talking about working dogs and wanting a working dog and buying a working dog, this is how you get them. You got to get them from the direct source, from the people who actually have the real ones. All right, when people tell you that they heard or they know or somebody said when they bought them, that is not it, guys. You do not want to buy a dog because somebody said they think they're out working lines. You because you you don't know if they're gonna work until they get older. So this is it. So these puppies are amazing. These puppies are growing. Um, I'm actually showing you footage now of them. Their sires, their grandsires, the dam all that stuff and these dogs are in guyton georgia these puppies are going to be amazing these are going to a lot of these puppies go law enforcement um so like i said if you ever wanted a real personal protection dog this is it right you're just not going to get them for 500 dollars. I, I hate to break you you can keep looking but everyone who has these lines that sell these puppies are not going to sell them to you for 500 dollars. okay now i do know that uh they will start around 2500 dollars. Okay, that is what they're starting at, right? And you gotta remember that's without training. So um, these puppies are what you're looking for when you start talking about getting a personal protection dog. They already have the genetics. It's proven on the field. It's proven in competition. It's proven in protection training. It's proven in police training. It's proven in sport training. They do it all, okay? And you see right now they're being socialized by the breeder with small animals, I mean with small children, right? So this is Drake. He is the father of the litter. He is the sire. This is Sage. She is the dam of the litter. She is the mother. I said that twice that way because a lot of people don't know what sire and dam means. So this is the pedigree. They are AKC. This is Guido. That is the grandsire. He is overseas competing in competition. He actually won. He is a champion. So he is the great grandsire of these puppies, right? They're coming straight out of him. They were line bred twice. This is what you're looking for if you're going to do competition. This is what you're looking for if you want police work. What a do? I gotta get still set up. All still. No. Come here. They must have spilled that water. So what I have is still, he's on a regular and he's got a, a safety on his prong. Still has to live in a prong. You see how the struggle is real, right? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
The struggle is real. All right, Brian. So that that ball you see right there in that Ziploc bag, that's what you're gonna be getting. You need to get that. We're gonna give it the steal, and then we're gonna begin hiding it. Yeah, 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 steal. He's already acting like a maniac. Come on, get it out. The ball, the ball, yeah. Just wait a minute, let him pee first. Is he peeing? Yeah, I'm gonna let him use the bathroom. You wanna sniff it? No, 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 hold on. Let me see if he uses the bathroom. So this is still, still is a police canine, and this is what they look like. If you didn't know, they are, they are high maintenance, high strong like this. They're always ready to work. That's why they can't live in, some of them can't live in homes. And he's ready to work. So we're letting him see if he's got to use the bathroom first. Brian, let me get the yellow line. I'm going to go ahead and switch it. So we're going to be using the yellow line because I'm going to let him free ball and work on his own. But I'm going to have this line on him in case something pops up. I can control him. Always got to think safety, right? See, he's already putting his nose down, already thinking the game. So this is a game to steal. So you know it, it's a game, right? Still no. He'll start searching it before I tell him to, no, no, no. Still here. He'll already start searching. <laughs> you see, he's already ready to play the game. All right, Brian, I want you to toss that ball on the ground for him so he can get it. Now you claim you can get out of his mouth, right? When you out him. All right, go ahead. Because I can't. Still, just, just throw it on the ground to him. There you go. He got it now. So the reason why I gave him the ball is because he's paired with the odor. And now Brian's about to get the ball back like he told me he could. Steal! Out! Alright, Brian is my son. He is my kennel tech. Or uh, my kennel master. Alright, after Steel gets done pooping, remember I told you before... As, oh, as soon as he knew we were going to play the game, he went and pooped. He wanted to make sure he ain't heavy when he's out here working. All right, so Brian, you're gonna take the ball. Hold on. No, no, here. I want to show you how much this ball means to him. Still, here, no, still, here. Sit. Now you don't want to be holding this too long. You don't want him seeing it too long. That's how handlers get bit. I want to get it out of his sight as soon as I can. All right, if I hold it in front of him too long, he will go for it. Still, down, no, down. So you see, he's obedient for what he wants. But if we don't have this ball, or and, and he, he's not gonna listen. All right, Brian, you're gonna go down there, I'm gonna throw it to you, and I'm gonna sit them. There's a box all the way down there, and I want you to put it in there. You want me to catch it? No, nah, I'm gonna roll it. Okay. So just keep walking. I'm gonna roll it to you. You can turn and walk, you got a long ways to go. And look at still. Uh, look at him, you see him? Right. Now watch this trick I do. Alright, you guys ready to play the game? Let the games begin. Brian, pick it up and throw it to the box. So it rolls on the ground. Now I'm gonna take steel and I'm gonna go this way. Go get it. God damn, I just burned my hand. Come on. It won't let me put my gloves on. I know. He got it. You ready? Sook. I'm gonna slow him down a little bit. Sook. Ooh, find it, find it, Sook, Sook, yeah, good boy, good boy, where is it, 
Where is it? Suk! 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 They went out on the street, that's why he went that way. And he's winding himself around this tree. Just in time. Brad, did you walk around that tree? Well, there's no wind coming in. Suk! Where did I find it? Where is it? I know you went out that way, Brian. He's following your odor. Come on. Still, come here. He's backtracking. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Ooh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I'll help you pick up that odor. Good boy. Where is it? Sook. Sook. Ooh. Ooh. You found it. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, yes. Ooh, you found it. You found it. You found it. And you know what? I left this fucking reward down there. I left his reward down there. Look at him. Look. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> what? Look. I bet you think he now. What? Look, I bet you think he's a police dog now. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Yep. <laughs> Good boy. Out. Good boy. Is that a police dog or not? Get that odor out of there. We got a few more to do. Can you put the odor in the box? With the car. Uh-uh. Yeah, it's in the bag. Out. Still out. Out. Come on. Still. All right, Brian, come here. Where are you going? Hide it behind that flag right there. Come on. Fucking sacrifice. Come on. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh, he was. 
Brian, don't stay there. Actually, come over here with me, Brian. Can you put some water in there for me? I don't know why it's empty. You ready? Yeah. Soup! Soup! Come on. Soup! Good boy. Find it. Whoa, good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy, good find, yes. Yes, a good boy. I'm gonna make it a little harder this time. Got it. No, I didn't. I couldn't. Hey, he was pulling me while I was trying to get to it over there. See how calm he is now? He got the ball. Once he gets the ball, he's calm. It's all the way up until he gets the ball. All right, Brian, out him. Out. Steal. Out. Out. Steal. Out. 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 Steal. Out. Why are you being like that? Did you see what I mean? Out. 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 You see? Yeah, I'm not going to let him scratch the car. You can walk over there with him, babe. You have the odor, Brian? Where's the odor at? It was supposed to be over there with the Kong when you hit it last time. So, so you can stay right there. All you gotta do is step back. Okay, you ready? Soup. Soup. Come on. Come on. Soup. No. No. Come on. No? That's how the police be searching your car. That's what the police be doing when they pull you over. You want to know what they be doing? Watch this. Sook! Boy! You put it right there for him to get it. You didn't even try to hide it. Oh. Where wants to be at? Okay. And can you tell me when he's ready? Because he'll just stand there. He won't tell me. Are there cats up there? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, no. This isn't in there. It takes him longer to hide it than to steal to find it.
This is why we like them on harnesses when we do this. But I'm not gonna put them on a harness, it's too hot out here. We want them to pull. Harnesses allow them to do that without us stretching. Where am I going? Where am I starting at? The porch? Right here. Sook! Sook! Come on! Sook! Find it! Find it! Woo! Find it! Come on! Sook! Sook! Come on! Sook! No? Come on! Come on! Sook! Sook! You had no effort in hiding the stuff. Yeah, you know why? Why? Because it's hot. Give it to him. This would be a good one. That's why I did the sit work before the bite work. Right? I'll tell you when to let him go. Yeah. Watch. 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 Ready? Just let the leash go. Just drop the leash and let him go. Bust! Boy, steal. Good boy. Oh, good boy. He's tired. Go ahead and get the leash. We wore steel out. What? What? Hold on. Hey, we wore him. We wore steel out. Nobody wears steel out. Well, I got the leash. We wore steel out. That don't never happen. Come here, steel. All right, so again, if we go back to police canine, you see he's, he's keeping this, right? As far as, as far as I go over there, if I try to pick it up, he's gonna do that. That's called possession. He's gonna wanna keep it, right? He, so it depends. He used to out. Ryan, you're good. Okay, give your mom that mic. He used to out, but He's been doing it off and on. I think it's because he hasn't been training in a long while. Okay. So, so but can you train it back? Yeah, yeah. He it? started doing it when Brian said it over there. Uh -huh. He released. How long does it usually take like, to teach the dog out command? Me, for me? Period. Or for anybody? Everybody. For me, it takes probably a few, se a few, a one, se one session. Okay. You know, it depends on how you're doing it. If you're using a prong or you're using an e collar. So, what was uh, Steel was searching for today? Uh, Methamphetamines. Okay. And how many locations there was of total? There was one down there. Brian just left it over there. He did the car and he did right over there. So four. He did four. So was he rusty? How was you uh, ranking right now? Out of a scale of one to ten, it was like a five. He normally, he never picks his head up once he puts it down. Uh-huh. And he finds it. He goes straight to it. But I think because he's tired too. Okay. He's not he's he's not conditioned right now because he has like I said he hasn't done this in a while, but still is going to Apex Canine Security. He's going to be one of the security dogs, so you're going to see a lot more of his training. Um, he's not a house pet, unfortunately. This is all still is good for. It's working. Pretty dog. Yes, he is. And we got him in work work weight. He's not overweight, he's not underweight. No, he's, he's not. He's prime. All right, and we out. We out, y'all.